Hey there, friends. I'm WCBI TV Chief Meteorologist Keith Gibson. It is Monday afternoon. We are talking about more winter weather. This is the winter that just won't end, right? Well, you wanted a winter, and we got a winter this year. Winter weather advisories for a good chunk of our coverage area for Monday night and Tuesday. Lafayette County, Yellabusha County, points west, a winter storm warning. So let's break this down timing-wise. This is what we're expecting. There's a possibility for a little bit of snow across our northwestern counties, including Oxford, by 11 o'clock tonight. By 6 a.m., snow is possible along and west generally speaking, of the Natchez Trace Parkway. By midday on Tuesday, the snow potential is down towards the Golden Triangle area. And by 3 o'clock in the afternoon, most of the activity should be moving to our south and east. That's the timing on this situation. So what do we expect? Well, how about anywhere between a trace to maybe a half inch to an inch from the Golden Triangle area out into West Alabama, up towards Tupelo, Eupora. Now, there will be a dividing line somewhere along the Natchez Trace Parkway here where there could be one to maybe two inches of snow out towards our northwestern counties. You get out towards I-55 and the Delta, there could be two inches or more of snow here. That's what we are expecting at this point in time. So that's our forecast. This is one of our model forecasts. You can see the general thinking here. A better opportunity for one plus back to the northwest of the trace. Uh, lighter amounts, more or less uh, a nuisance amount to the southeast, including Columbus and Point South and East. So we'll just see how this all breaks down. Again, this is Monday afternoon. Things are subject to change, but uh, we do have an Arctic boundary coming our way. Here's Futurecast. By midnight tonight, we're looking at that snow potential across our northwestern counties. And by 6 o'clock in the morning, our northwestern areas, again, northwest of the trace, the better chance for some frozen precipitation. That band of light snow will continue moving off to the southeast. And I think it's going to lose some of its punch as we get into the late morning and the early afternoon hours. And then all of this should be done by 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon on Tuesday as that boundary moves off to the southeast. Then Arctic high pressure comes on in for Wednesday. We're sunny, but we are cold. If you are concerned about school closings, go to our website, wcbi.com. We have a full list of closings and advisory or closings and uh, uh, cancellations of businesses and schools and some delays. So if you want the latest, just go there, check it all evening, all night. It will be updated continuously. The other aspect with this, we have Arctic air coming on in. So actual highs on Tuesday will be in the 20s. We're looking at wind chills down into the teens and single digits on Tuesday, down to around zero Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. So that is going to be a big concern here. A little bit of snow and then some bitterly cold Arctic air. So protect your friends, your family, your pets, your pipes, any plants that are very sensitive to the extreme cold. That is what we are dealing with as we go through time. The major impact on Tuesday, not necessarily the snow amounts, but any snow that could freeze on the roadway surfaces and produce some ice. And that could create some tra uh, um uh, easy for me to say, how about some uh, treacherous driving conditions across uh, parts of our region, depending on the storm amounts on Tuesday. But we're going to have a lot of sunshine on Wednesday, so I'm hopeful that any ice that does happen to develop on Tuesday can get melted away by that powerful sun and some dry air in place. Still cold Wednesday night. We're down into the teens. 41 sunny on Thursday. 51 Friday. 60s for the upcoming weekend. We may see some showers and storms, thunderstorms, by Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. So a bit of a roller coaster ride this week. We've been very warm on Monday. Uh, an Arctic air outbreak for Tuesday and Wednesday before we get back into some more tolerable conditions by the upcoming weekend. There's your forecast update. I hope to have the very latest on WCBI News at 5, 6, 9, and 10 tonight on TV. See you there.